wonder how common this belief is. Evil is real. Evil is on the march. Evil exists. And I think in this society, we're very uncomfortable talking about evil or the nature of evil. But I think we better get more fluid with discussing evil. And it should inform everything that we talk about with, with regard to horrific crimes like this. Because you really can't talk about it without talking about evil. What good does it do discussing it in those kinds of terms? What's the benefit? How does it help us? So it's real, but then the conversation veers into what do we do about this? And every time there is a kind of horrific attack like this, everybody, especially politicians, scramble to look like they're doing something. Well, to be fair, it's usually politicians on the left that are scrambling to look like they're doing something about it. When I usually see people on the right talk about it, they'll say, oh, well, this is a mental health issue. But then when you suggest that we should have mental health available to everyone, they're like, oh, well, well, not really. But, you know, they they change their tune really quick. And it is a human impulse to want to do something to stop this kind of thing. But you cannot legislate away evil. You just cannot do it. You can't pray away evil either, lady. This right here is a crisis of the soul. It is not a crisis of policy. This is a crisis of a spiritual battle, good versus evil, light versus darkness. That's what's happening here. It's worthless and completely useless to break down these problems in such manners. And I hear a lot of people talk about how broken our country is, and I don't disagree with that. But the brokenness comes from a spiritual bankruptcy. In this country, we have removed God. We have removed faith. We've removed open discussions about God and faith, certainly from the public square. So you think combining church and state is the answer? Or you think cramming your religion down everyone's throats and making them pretend to be religious is the answer? So uh, how can we expect anything else if we're all afraid to discuss evil and the spiritual war that we are in? This country needs a spiritual renewal. It needs a spiritual restoration if we're going to have any chance of bringing this country back. Look, I get that... We've kind of moved away from morality in general, okay? I don't think we should look at this in terms of good versus evil. We should look at this in cause and effect. But morality is something that can be taught without religion. The problem is, right now, it just seems to be religion pushing morality versus wokeness pushing morality. And... The concepts clash with each other. And for the people that don't want any sort of ideological thinking crammed down their throats, they're left with just trying to create their own sense of morality. And that's not working out so well. So I get that people are concerned, and I'm not going to just completely throw away everything this woman has said. 